ओम शांति आध्यात्मिक विश्वविद्यालय प्रेजेंस भागवत पार्ट सेवन द रियल स्टोरी ऑफ भागवत बिगिन्स नाउ People gather in large numbers to listen to it. People don't show that much interest to listen to the knowledge of Gita, but they listen to the Bhagavad story with great interest. According to the declaration of the Gita, God comes in the end of the Ironage and narrates the true knowledge of the Gita, and when sisters and mothers come in God's shelter having been attracted towards that knowledge of the Gita, the real Bhagavad takes place. So, let's watch the story of that maiden whose name got imprinted in golden words in the Bhagavad story first of all. Bhagavad story 1. This is the story of that pure maiden from Kashi Banaras who is called Mahasati Anusuya, the mother of even Tridev on the basis of her purity. She always had one belief, one strength, one hope and trust. and succeeded in the examination of nashto moha smriti labdha the stage of conquering all kinds of attachments and remaining in remembrance of the one according to god's words in the gita and became the sharpest among all in the four main subjects of the knowledge of god knowledge yoga assimilation of virtues and service she attained the position of kashi ma with the energy of yoga her soul being pure She is beautiful and bhadra that is beneficial this is why she is also called subhadra the real bhagavad story begins with her all the names in the scriptures are based on actions for example anusuya that is the one who isn't jealous or envious of anybody it is shown in the scriptures even tridev is become jealous and envious of mother anusuya's great purity but mother anusuya stays free from jealousy and enmity similarly kashi for which it is written in the purans kashati prakashati idam sarvam iti kashi which means the one who illuminates everyone is kashi that city of kashi vishwanath always stays full of the radiance of remembrance of god bholena this is why It is called Shankar City. It is believed that Mahadev always resides in Kashi. This is why each particle of gravel in Kashi is also considered Shiv. Kashi mana? Kashi ki tej punya wali. Kashi means the one full of the radiance of Kashya. Kashi mana? Yad ka tej jahan bara hua hai. Kashi means such city of Kashi which is full of the radiance of remembrance. ऐसी काशी नगरी कहते हैं वहाँ शिव भोला भंडारी रहते हैं इट इज सेड शिव भोला भंडारी रिसाइड दे नगरी कहा है तो कोई ईट पत्थरों की नगरी नहीं होगी वेन शी इज कॉल सिटी शी वुडेंट बी अ सिटी मेड ऑफ ब्रिक्स एंड स्टोन तो कोई स्थूल नगरी की बात नहीं है इट इज इंट अबाउट सम फिजिकल सिटी कोई कन्या माता है जिसके कंठे पर बैठ करके नई दुनिया की रचना रची जाती देर इज अ मेडन और मदर सिटिंग बाय द बैंक ऑफ होम द न्यू वर्ल्ड इज इस्टेब्लिश द टास्क विच इवन थ्री डेवीज आर अनेबल टू अकम्पलिश मदर अनुसुया मेक्स दैट टास्क पॉसिबल विद हर पावर ऑफ योगा अनुसुया का ही दूसरा नाम काशी नगरी है Anusuya's another name is Kashi Nagari. ये संगम युगी नाम है. It is the confluence age name. भविष्य में जो पद मिलता है आस्त देवों में से, वो पद कुबेर का गाया जाता है. The position she attains among the eight deities in future is praised as the position of कुबेर. Mother Kashi was born in 1983 in Kashi Banaras itself. which is considered to be the city of scholars and wise men she lived with her maternal grandmother in her maternal house in kashi you must have heard this saying the child is father of the man mother kashi has had a silent decent and serious nature since childhood the main dharna of this knowledge of god is 
to stay pure through the mind, speech and actions, to not come in anadosh and sandosh, to talk less, softly and sweetly, to not give sorrow to anyone, to tolerate. Mother Kashi was full of all these divine dharna even before taking the knowledge of God. This is why another name for Kashi is Banaras, that is the one who is full of the already prepared juice of knowledge. Being interested in the spiritual knowledge, Mother Kashi joined the Adhyatmic Vishwavidyalaya along with her maternal grandmother, and she kept coming to Adhyatmic Vishwavidyalaya situated at Kampila since 1989. It is said, when a person's heart truly dwells in God, he doesn't like anything else in the world except God. Similarly, when Mother Kashi's dedication towards the knowledge of God rose, she left her BSc incomplete and stepped forward to surrender her life completely for the welfare of the world and considering real God to be her everything. Breaking all the bondages of attachment and Maya, she set off to Kampil from Kashi in November 1999, with the power of staying firm from beginning till the end. Despite seeing opposition of the spiritual knowledge by her parents and some relatives, with unshakable and immovable faith like the great warrior Angad, whose foot-like intellect nobody could shake, she pierced the smoke of defamation against Baba Virendra Dev Dikshit and succeeded in moving ahead. This is why, it is shown in the scriptures that God Jagannath's sister Subhadra didn't support Anraiti's Duryodhan, instead she supported the great warrior Arjun, who walked on the path of righteousness. But Mother Kashi suspected that her parents and relatives might create obstacles in the task of bringing the welfare of the world. This is why, Mother Kashi posted a letter to the Farukhabad police officer on 13 July 2000, clearly stating that she is staying at Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalaya willingly with an aim to lead a pure life, and requested that if any of her Lokik family members oppose this path of knowledge in future, she should be provided police security. Mother Kashi's suspicion turned into reality in some days, and her uncle Rama Shankar Jaiswal lodged an FIR at Varansi's Sigra police station against Baba Virendra Dev Dikshit, accusing him of kidnapping, sexual exploitation, and forgery of documents. When will the sequence of making the government system dance to the tune of the conspirators on the basis of the power of money and people end? Mother Kashi asks this question. It is because Baba Virendra Dev Dikshit has faced many of such endless false allegations and he is facing them even till date. But it is an eternal truth that be it late, but truth finally triumphs. On knowing that Mother Kashi is staying at Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalaya Kampila willingly, the police couldn't take any actions against Baba Virendra Dev Dikshit. But Mother Kashi's family members didn't sit quiet after this failure. Immediately after this, Mother Kashi's mother, Geeta Jaiswal filed a writ petition bearing number 4833 by 2002 against state and Baba Virendra Dev Dikshit at Allahabad High Court and in the petition she accused Baba Virendra Dev Dikshit of illegally confining her daughter at Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalay situated at village Kampila. Then, on the High Court's order, Mother Kashi herself appeared before the High Court and stating these allegations lodged by her mother as false, she produced before the court the evidence of her being a major and fearlessly stated that she was staying in Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalaya happily and as per her own will. Thereafter, on 2 December 2002, the Allahabad High Court stated in its final order that Kumari has come from Virendra Dev Dikshit's ashram. She stated her date of birth to be 12th August 1983, which is registered in the school records. She expressed her wish to go to Virendra Dev Dikshitji's ashram. 
She also stated that she hasn't been detained in Virendra Dev Dikshit Ji's ashram illegally. Under these circumstances, the habeas corpus petition is dismissed. Kumari may be taken to Virendra Dev Dikshit Ji's ashram, where she wishes to go in police custody. This is why it is said only auspicious happens everywhere in all the ten directions by remembering true God upon recognizing Him. With the remembrance of God, even a problem like a mountain becomes very small. The police dismissed the FIR lodged against Baba Virendra Dev Dikshit Ji after the said order. But Rama Shankar Jaiswal and other relatives of Mother Kashi couldn't digest this judgment of Allahabad High Court even after many years, and they burned with the fire of defeat within. Despite this order of the High Court, disobeying the High Court, Rama Shankar Jaiswal continued to register false complaints to the administration against Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalay and made unsuccessful attempts to take back Mother Kashi in some way or the other by misleading various government officials till the year 2013. As a result, Mother Kashi had to produce before the officials the evidence of her staying at Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalay at her own will again and again. It is such helplessness of the law today, that despite the decision of the High Court, people like Rama Shankar, who create obstacles in women's right to religion, aren't punished, and the pure Sitas have to unnecessarily give a test, time and again. Whether it is a Lokik or a Lokik family, Mother Kashi doesn't give up the battle of righteousness. She supports every task of God with her full strength while patiently facing all the troubles from the beginning till now. Not just in this birth, but she is his supporter in every birth. As such, everyone becomes a supporter during the time of happiness, but when someone lends support during times of trouble, it holds a special value. This is why, it is said, one can test his patience, religion, friend and woman during times of trouble. Just like it has also been witnessed in history, when Maharana Pratap was suffering misfortune after the battle of Haldi Ghati and was wandering in forests. When he had to eat rotis made of grass, Ranaji's loyal childhood friend Bhama Shah helped him at that time. Similarly, the mighty Delhi Emperor Prithviraj Chauhan's childhood friend Chandra Vardai supported him from the beginning till his last breath. Similarly, it is shown in the mythological stories that when Lord Vishnu's incarnation, Tirupati Balaji was in trouble, Kubel, the Lord of Wealth helped him. Well, only the one who is a yogi will lend cooperation because it is said, the one who is a yogi is a sahyogi that is helper sabse bade se bada dhan kaun sa hai sangam yug mein which is the greatest wealth in the confluence age pure purity gyan dhan nahi hai it isn't the wealth of knowledge gyan bhi kis liye hai what is even the knowledge for pavitrata arjan karne ke liye to assimilate purity to pavitrata hi sabse bada dhan hai so Purity itself is the greatest wealth. Purity. Ab bhi bichari bhatti. Mera to ek Shiv Baba dusra no koi. Purity, unadulterous nature. One Shiv Baba alone is mine. Nobody else. Ye pavitrata ki property. Vartaman Sangam yug mein Jagadamba ke gupto hone ke baad. Tirupati ko kaha se milti hai? From where does Tirupati obtain this property of purity in the present confluence age after Jagdamba became incognito? Hai? Kuber se milti hai. Anusuya se milti hai. He obtains it from Kuber, from Anusuya. Jab koi sahyogi na raha. When he had no supporter left. To kisne ante tak sahyog diya? Who supported him till the end? Hai? Kuber ne sahyog diya. 
काशी नगरी ने सहयोग दिया कुबेर और काशी नगरी डे इसलिए भक्ति मार्ग में मान्यता है कि शंकर की प्यारी नगरी काशी नगरी है दिस इज वाई देर इज अ बिलीफ इन द पाथ ऑफ भक्ति दैट काशी नगरी इज डियर टू शंकर मदर काशी प्रैक्टिस प्योरिटी थ्रू माइंड स्पीच एंड एक्शन इवन वाई बींग इन दर्ज इन प्योर वर्ल्ड एंड बिकम्स द मोस्ट डिटैच सिटी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड Its very yadgar is shown in the scriptures that when Hiranyaksha was taking the entire earth to the pit to the underworld Kashi Nagari didn't go into the pit It detaches itself from the earth and goes upwards It is because the one in whose heart Baba Vishwanath himself dwells who can take him under his control No matter how hard the people of the world try but the power of purity is the only power in front of which no power can stand this is why only purity is worshiped there is also a temple of mother sati anusuya in the state of madhya pradesh in bharat माता अनुसुईया हैं जी नीचे सामने इनके पति अश्री मुनि हैं उन्हीं की सेवा पूजा करके तीनों लोक में बड़ी हो गई मान रखे शिव मात्र प्रीत की इच्छा है महादेव की महिमा है महादेव की काशी नगरी इज शोन टू बी ऑन द टिप ऑफ द त्रिशूल इन द पाथ ऑफ भक्ति इन द सेम वे Mother Kashi also proceeds in her alokic life maintaining the balance of love and law keeping in mind the rules and regulations of god and contemplating deeply whenever a situation arises It is said only a person who knows the value of time succeeds in life Mother Kashi also reached the zenith by realizing the value of time and devoting each second of hers in the service of god There is a belief in our country Bharat that is the lady of a house is good the house becomes heaven Call her mother Kashi or mother Anusuya she sustains and nurtures the family completely on the basis of the power of tolerance and purity This is why its yadgar is seen in Indonesia even today that Kubera Dikpal is given the position of Vishnu the nurturer of the north direction In this way Mother Anusuya the lead character of the first Bhagavad story becomes an instrument to make truth triumph on the basis of her purity and the power of yoga Then this real Bhagavad story doesn't remain limited to the country Bharat alone rather its glory reaches even the foreign countries And what happens as a result watch it in the next episode